This Roadrunner is toast. Animation exaggerates actions so much that sometimes cartoons can actually make it easier to see real physics at work. The Flash can vibrate the molecules of his body so fast that he can phase through solid objects. This is an unlikely but more or less accurate extrapolation of quantum tunneling, which is how electrons are able to pass through impassable materials. At quantum scales, the exact position of any given particle is elusive. Each exists within a sort of cloud of probable locations. So when you put an electron next to a very thin barrier, there's a tiny probability that it actually exists on the other side of the barrier. And with enough electrons in play, the result is real and measurable. Engineers have had to rethink circuit design to take this into account. Presumably, the flash is vibrating each of his subatomic particles so that they're given many, many opportunities to appear on the other side of the wall. Wally's emergency fire extinguisher propulsion system works thanks to Newton's third law of motion. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When two objects interact, they apply an equal amount of force to each other with the forces acting in opposite directions. Here, the two objects are Wally himself, including the fire extinguisher, and the compressed gas inside the extinguisher. When he activates it, the gas shoots out with a certain amount of force. An equal amount of force pushes Wally in the opposite direction. While fire extinguishers vary in the amount of gas they contain and how much pressure they're under, it's definitely within reason that a large canister could propel a low mass robot at impressive speeds. When Homer Simpson took a trip on the space shuttle, his weightlessness was a scientifically accurate depiction of freefall. Well, his weightlessness and that of his potato chips and that of our new ant overlords, <laughs> freefall anyway, isn't due to a lack of gravity. In Earth's orbit, the gravity we feel on the ground is only reduced by about 10%. You get a glimpse of freefall on a roller coaster as it goes over a sharp rise. In an orbital vehicle, it's as if the astronauts are constantly going over the top of a roller coaster. They're falling, and the space shuttle is also falling away from them at a constant rate around the Earth. You fool! Now we may never know if ants can be trained to sort tiny screws in space. Wait, what am I looking at right now? Why are you hanging off the Earth like a bat? Olaf is made of snow, but he's mostly treated as a solid object. When he falls off a cliff, gravity accelerates Olaf towards the Earth. If we knew more about him, we could calculate this using Newton's second law. When Olaf hits the ground, he experiences rapid deceleration. Could a living snow person actually survive such a fall? Well, there's a thick layer of snow on the ground. That means Olaf's deceleration takes a few extra fractions of a second. Spreading out the force over a longer period reduces the damage it does. I can't feel my legs! I can't feel my legs! <coughs> Those are my legs. Oh, hey, do me a favor, grab my butt! Oh, that feels better. So what other moments of cartoon physics have always fascinated you? Let us know in the comments, and to check out our favorites, read the article 10 Outrageous Cartoon Moments That Use Real Physics at HowStuffWorks.com. Is it Wally -E or just Wally? -E? Wow, I think it's Wally. -E. Wally. -E.